you're all doing well and welcome to a new video on my channel so today I'm back with a new spring fashion video in my fashion guide videos I'm talking about five trendy pieces and five basic pieces you need to have in your wardrobe for the upcoming season and this time I'm going to talk about spring of course and I also wanted to let you know that there's going to be a whole blog post that goes with this video where you can find all the links all the shoppable links of the items that I mentioned and you can also use it as a shopping checklist because I've written down all the pieces that you need for your wardrobe this upcoming season in my opinion so you can just open that blog post on your phone and then take it with you when you go shopping and you can just check off every item that you're missing still I personally find that super handy so I hope you do too so I'm not going to make this intro any longer let's start with my favorite trends and basics for spring 2017 so the first trend that I'm going to be talking about is floral and floral of course is always massive every spring season but this year it's been reinvented and it's bigger than ever before so my style personally is kind of basic and i don't wear a lot of prints however i am kind of obsessed with floral at the moment especially the kind of more bigger pattern floral the more creative and artistic floral print as we have seen on the runway of gucci Personally, I think Gucci is killing it at the moment and I think everybody and their mother is obsessed with the floral prints Gucci has but these ones are actually not from Gucci and these are very affordable so the first piece that I wanted to show you is this floral dress from Topshop and when I saw this, I fell in love with it immediately because I was looking for a midi dress that would be still very flattering on somebody that's petite like me and this definitely is. Another thing that I love about this dress is the light pink color because a light pink is also one of the most trendy colors at the moment for spring, especially combined with another color that I'm going to talk about later in this video. So I personally think this dress is super flattering and I also really love the prints of this dress. This dress has kind of a grandma feel going on, but I actually really like it. So what I like to do is kind of toughen up this dress a little bit because my style is a little bit more edgy. So what I like to do is add a belt to it, usually a double buckle belt or another belt that I'm wearing at the moment and I'm going to talk about later. Um, and then also add a leather vest. So if you're not really into a lot of color and you still like to wear black, even in the spring, but you do want to look a little bit more fresh and spring-like, something like this is perfect because I was actually wearing this in my latest video which was my desk tour and a lot of you thought that this was a dress but it's not it's actually a white leg play suit hope you can see it so I got this gifted from River Island and I think it's so flattering it has a beautiful neckline with ruffles which is another big trend at the moment then another thing that I love about this play suit is the bag because it's completely open but it still has a bow in the back that you can tie so you can kind of adjust this to your body shape and it also hides your bra so you can wear a bra with it perfectly I like to add a crossbody bag with it and some cute mules or some cute nude booties to elongate your legs and then you're actually good to go so the next trendy piece I'm going to talk about is a denim jacket and this is actually a little bit in between a basic and a trendy piece I think a denim jacket is a basic and everybody should have one especially for the springtime in their closet however this denim jacket is a little bit more trendy than our regular denim jackets we have as a basic because it's super ripped and super frayed which is very trendy at the moment this was actually from Zara and it's meant to be a denim blouse but I really like it as a denim jacket because it's a little bit uh, thinner but that's why it also has this extra bow attached to it do it yourself this jacket as well because the biggest trendy thing about this jacket is the back as you can see I cropped only the back part of it uh, which is super flattering especially if you're wearing a high-waisted jeans or high-waisted shorts something like that because this way the jacket can be still oversized while showing your figure I still feel like it will last a very long time in my closet because it definitely really suits my style so yeah 
Um, this jacket is from Zara, but you can find, like, you can also thrift your jacket and then destroy it yourself and crop it in the back and you have the same effect but I will link this one down below as well next up is another jacket I'm kind of obsessed with jackets they're kind of really my thing I also always feel like my outfit isn't complete if I'm not wearing a jacket I know I'm not wearing a jacket right now but I really wanted to show off this top by the way uh, but usually I am wearing a jacket and this is actually a jacket that I got previous uh, spring at Zara but it's still very relevant because it has a very basic silhouette but the color is very trendy so this jacket is a perfect example of trend pieces that can last you longer if you make sure the silhouette is kind of basic so i would style this leather jacket as my normal black leather jacket to be honest I like to wear it with a white tee or a grey tee or a black tee and then with some mom jeans and then a cute booty or some heels and you're totally good to go. This is just super easy to style but you're still making a statement because this color is so pretty and bright. So yeah, definitely recommend a colorful leather jacket as your trend piece for this upcoming spring. So the next item is actually an item that I'm wearing right now which is this leather belt. So, as I said before, Gucci has been killing it lately and I'm kind of obsessed with Gucci so my trend piece for the upcoming spring is definitely a statement belt. So you don't have to go for this exact same one but I will definitely recommend this belt because I feel like it adds that extra touch of trendiness but still also a touch of luxury to any outfit without being trashy. So you can actually see how I'm styling this Gucci belt in the outfit that I'm wearing right now. I really like to wear it with some mom jeans or some other high-waisted jeans, then add a cute top with it. Today I'm wearing this kind of off-shoulder top from Topshop, but I also really like it with, for example, this striped tee I'm going to talk about in a bit, or this very nice white blouse I'm also going to mention in a bit. Yeah, it is a little bit more expensive, but I feel like this is going to be a trendy piece that will last you for a very long time. So, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I'm also going to talk about shoes. I chose one trendy pair and one basic pair. This is the last trendy piece that I'm going to mention, red shoes. So, one of the biggest trends at the moment is wearing this light pink color with red shoes. Now, I wouldn't style this dress with these shoes because I feel like they don't really look good together. However, there are a lot of other options you can style this red shoes with that are light pink that look awesome. For example, I really like to wear this bag with these shoes because I feel like it's a very interesting color clash. It's not too much. So these are actually some pointy pumps that I got from Sasha and they are from Steve Madden. They're real suede, so the quality is very nice. They're actually super soft. They are pretty comfortable, not the most comfortable heels, I'm not going to lie, but I definitely can wear them for quite a while. Definitely think of investing in accessories because that's just a little bit more of a neutral and easy way to wear this color combination. <music> five basic pieces you'll need this spring but also next spring and also the spring after that in your capsule wardrobe for example because these pieces are timeless and they make it so much easier to dress yourself in the morning so the first basic piece you need to have in your wardrobe this spring is a white blouse I feel like white blouses are made for spring. I like to wear white blouses all year round, but in spring they are definitely my favorite because they are still pretty lightweight, but it's not like you're wearing a tee because sometimes a tee can be a little bit too cold. And the one that I'm going to show you right now is a little bit more of an interesting version of a white blouse, but I still feel like it's very basic. So this white blouse is from River Island and the material of this blouse is so nice because it's super structured and kind of, I don't know, hard or something? I don't know, it just looks so pretty on. It also has this very interesting cutout detailing at the shoulders. This would be perfect to wear to the office even if you're showing a little bit of shoulder. And the most interesting part of this blouse are the sleeves. So these are kind of flared sleeves and this looks perfect with a leather vest over it or just a leather jacket and then you have these sleeves peeking out 
Oh my god, you guys, this looks stunning. Then I would add definitely some mom jeans and this belt I showed you. And maybe even the red shoes that I showed you earlier. And you have a killer outfit that's made with a basic but doesn't look basic at all. And it would look good on anybody. So for example, this would also look very pretty. This denim jacket from Zara with this white blouse. Because they're still both kind of basic but they have something interesting and trendy to them so these two pieces together are killer and i would definitely recommend investing in a very nice white blouse because you can wear this all year round not only in spring and it will last you forever the next item that i'm going to show you is a striped tee and i don't know about you guys but i find it very hard to find that perfect striped tee for my collection but now i finally found one this one is from asos and it actually is navy with white, mostly white. It's kind of boxy, but it's definitely not too big. You can go more for a light wash denim. I'm going to show you in a bit. So this together looks also perfect. And then you can add this colorful leather jacket on top of it for that extra pop of color, that extra kind of trendy and interesting feel without being too out there, if you know what I mean. Next up, I'm going to show you a pair of jeans. These ones are light wash denim jeans, mom jeans from Pull and Bear, and I feel like they have the perfect coloring for spring because the uh, these jeans are also from Pull and Bear. It's not the same model, but they're both mom jeans. But this is a little bit darker and this is way lighter. I also cropped them myself uh, by just cutting it, and they're now kind of frayed. I think that looks very pretty. Again, these jeans are super versatile. I prefer mom jeans over any style of jeans because I think they look very cool and effortless. So how I would style these jeans, again, is with the striped tee that I showed you. And maybe even add this trench coat to make it a little bit more classy. Because mom jeans don't have to look like very edgy if you don't want them to. If you add a more classic piece to them, they look super stylish and very classy and not kind of edgy if you know what I mean. So I just showed you it right now, but my next basic piece for upcoming spring is a trench coat. So this trench coat is from Zara. I also got it last spring. It has a very nice kind of light beige camel color. It's also pretty short. It hits me right above my knees, which I think is the most flattering length. So a trench coat like this is just so versatile to style. Honestly, you can wear this with any of the pieces that I showed you earlier. I can throw this over this outfit to make it a little bit more chic. But I can also wear it with a skirt, for example, because I feel like trench coats and skirts are just made to be. So last but not least, I'm also going to show you a pair of basic shoes that I feel like you need to have in your wardrobe for this upcoming spring. I chose for these nude pointy booties from H&M uh, actually. These are super comfortable and they were also really cheap. I think I paid like 30 or 35 euros and um, the quality is not the best, I'm not going to lie. It's faux suede, but you can kind of feel, I don't know, that they're not well made, if you know what I mean. But the color of these are stunning and they're so elongating for your legs. So, for example, these shoes with this dress look also stunning together uh, because they're both kind of cool tone nudes and uh, they will make your legs look even longer, as I said before. And that's the end of my spring fashion guide series. I now showed you all my basic and trend pieces for the upcoming spring season and I hope you found it helpful. So I would definitely recommend also checking out my blog post where you can have the shopping list um, to take with you when you go shopping and also all the direct links that I can find. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And also I wanted to let you know that next fashion video is actually going to be about how I style florals. So I'm actually also featuring this very pretty piece there. So definitely tune in next week. You can subscribe if you don't want to miss it. And then you can also see how to style florals. So that would be definitely very helpful because I'm also styling a floral bomber jacket and also a kind of floral blouse and also a floral dress that's different to this one. So definitely a very helpful video to watch if you're into florals but you're not sure how to style them. 
check out that video next week. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was that I showed you. So right next to me, I will link my spring haul, my spring fashion haul as well, if you want to see what kind of shopping I did recently for the spring fashion season. So I don't have anything else to say. Have a fucking amazing day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys. So today I'm going to start off with my spring fashion videos with a haul, because what better way